calls. They said they can't wait to kiss those lips. Excuse me. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna do some lip swatches. I know I've said in the past that I do not like doing lip swatch videos, but it's a different story. Today we're looking at the Benefit Their Real Double the Lip Lipstick. It's a lipstick lip liner combo, so it's kind of like perfect for the lazy girl makeup routine, which is kind of me every day. I'm always looking for the way to do something faster and easier. And that's what this appears to be. So hopefully you're down for a new lazy girl option. I haven't swatched all of the colors yet. So as I'm swatching them, I will give you like reviews of each color, but I have one of the colors on right now and I've worn it several times. This is Nude Scandal. I also wore it in my latest Q&A video, the one that I did with Grant. It's a color I love. It's kind of like an everyday kind of color for me. And I'm just intrigued by this whole situation. The lipstick is in a teardrop shape and the pointy side is a darker color and that's like the liner color and the bottom is a lighter color. So it's supposed to create a ombre lip effect that makes your lips look fuller and it's all in one step. So that's really easy, that's really nice. You don't have to mess with liner unless you want to. I've got a lot of things to do in my life and if I don't have to do liner, like just, just think of all the things that I could get done. Not that many things, but I like the idea regardless. They sent me all eight shades. They came out with four in a kit last year. And when I first saw that, I was like, that's a gimmick. That's never going to work. And I kind of wasn't interested. But then when these came, I was like, just kidding. I'm real interested. Sometimes it's like that. I don't know why. On the box, it claims to have an eight hour wear time. I don't find that to be true but I haven't tried the really dark colors, so maybe there's a little bit of a staining effect, I'm not really sure, but since it isn't like a super long wearing kind of formula, it's easy to reapply and it's super comfortable to wear throughout the day, so that's not really a problem for me. Out of the ones I've tried already, some of the colors have like a really harsh difference, others have a super similar difference, and so it's like you almost can't tell that it's supposed to be an ombre, and then there's one that just kind of doesn't make sense at all. You'll see when I do the swatches. They also sent these really cool, wow, I just hit myself in the face. That's what I get for kind of making fun of it. Really cool slap bracelets with all of the shades on them. Actually kind of helpful. Actually, I might use these while I do the swatches. You know what? Let's just do the swatches. All right, obviously this is Nude Scandal. I already have it on my lips here. The difference between the two colors is very, very slight, but I like that. Um, one thing I found as I've used it several times, the top color wears down more than the bottom color or the darker color wears down more than the lighter color. I don't know if that's just because of the way that I apply lipstick, that could totally be it. I know everybody does it a different way. It's already pretty slopey. I don't know if you can tell. It's definitely my favorite, most wearable color, but I expect a lot of people are gonna feel that way about this color. All right, next up is Criminally Coral, and this is one of the colors that is a pretty harsh contrast. So, let's see what happens. Oh lordy. Yeah. So, this is what it looks like without blending at all. Like I said, pretty harsh contrast. But after I smoosh my lips together a little bit, just like a little, mm, it's actually not that bad. Eh, I actually don't like how the lighter color is settling into the lines of my lips and I've only had it on for like three and a half seconds. So yeah, not a favorite. Next up we have Lusty Rose. This is a pretty safe everyday color. It's more of a rosy kind of nude. I feel like a lot of people would like this one. And just like Nude Scandal, the two colors are very, very similar. So you do have the ombre effect, but it is extremely subtle. That works for most people, but if you're wanting like an ombre lip, this color isn't for you. Are you okay? All right, let's do another crazy one. This is Flame Game. It is a very orangey color, and this one's very confusing to me. So when I swatch this one on my hand, I notice that the outside edge is almost like translucent. And that makes no sense. All the other colors, the outside edge is a little bit darker. This one, it's like a gloss on the outside and it makes, it just makes no sense to me. 
yeah i don't even know if i have to put this one all the way on you can probably already see the inside of my lip has orange pigment the outside not so much if you're an orange lipstick lover this is definitely one that you can pass yeah this one's a disaster <laughs> and i look horrible with orange lipstick get it off my face what i don't like it either Next up, we have a super hot pink fuchsia. It's called Fuchsia Fever. And the colors look pretty different, but I think in this case, it can work. Hmm. These lipsticks are just very slightly scented, but it's like a pleasant, like sweet scent. It's, it doesn't bother me at all. Hmm. This color isn't really for me. The ombre effect is there. I don't love this color, but I think other people could. Next up, this is the pinky red in the bunch. It's called Revved Up Red, and as you can see, it's more red on the outside and hot pink on the inside. This one's getting a little sloppy. I feel like red is a color where a liner really, really, really helps. So unfortunately, red just might not be in the cards for the lazy girl. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit sloppy, but it totally works. Um, the colors work together really well, but they are really, really similar. I almost can't even see the difference, but it's a pretty color, so I like it. Next up, we have another pink. This one's more of a mauve pink, and it's called Pink Thrills. Ooh, this one's interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, so when I started out this journey, I was like, liner, who needs it? Apparently I do. Uh, there, this one came out like pretty sloppy and I was actually really trying to make it look neat. A creamy formula lipstick just, it doesn't have the same kind of precision that a liner does. So I think it was some colors, it could totally work as like the, the liner effect, but other colors like this one and the red, not so much. This one's nice, but I kind of think it needs a liner, a real liner. And the last color is a Juicy Berry. This one is the darkest of the bunch and I'm excited to see what it looks like. It looks like a harsh contrast, but maybe it won't be too bad on the lip. All right, I really like the Juicy Berry color combo, but again, since it's a more dramatic color, it's, it's not perfect. I would rather have a liner with this look, but I do really like the color. So I can see myself continuing to use this color, but pairing it with another liner, which kind of defeats the purpose, but it is what it is. So while I was applying the last color, I was thinking this lipstick shape really works for my lips, but if you have smaller lips than mine or larger lips than mine, it might be a total fail. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do in that situation, so that's obviously something to consider. Obviously, this is a super gimmicky product, and I had my doubts at first, but I ended up really liking the nude shade and the rose shade. I would definitely say those are worth it. I think they go for like $20 each. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna tell you to like rush out and get all the shades. I wasn't a fan of the orange and the darker, more dramatic colors just you, d you can't get the same precision that you can have with a liner. So as a lazy girl, everyday lip color, the nude and the rose are a go. Hopefully this review slash lip swatch video was helpful for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people. Hit that bell and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. I'd love to have you back. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Why do you have to hide under the bed, Luna? Fine. So drink out of my fancy, fancy Bank of America cup. I don't need you, Luna. She's just bitter. She can't wear lipstick. Her lip situation's a little weird. Excuse me?